we need to do one more thing to complete the geometry specification. To motivate that, I will go to a slide from pre-analysis where I talked about potential energy minimization. As we saw then, the potential energy was, you know, was composed of the work due to the internal forces minus the work due to the external forces. And to compute the work due to external forces, you need the external force and the location at which it acts. So this is going to be at x equal to L in our case. And so we are going to apply the force at x equal to L. Okay. So nothing there in terms of geometry extra to specify. Later on, we'll specify the, this force. What about the work due to the internal forces? Um, it, to compute that, you know, you need the integral over the midline, and we have specified the midline. So we have information, we have given answers information on that. E is the Young's modulus, material property, which we'll specify later. I, the moment of inertia is a geometric property, okay? So that we haven't specified, so we'll specify that over here. Uy is the unknown function that we want answers to determine um, and in such a way that this, you know, this integral gets minimized as we've talked about before. So there's one more uh, geometric entity that we need to give and that is the moment of inertia. Let's, uh, let's do that. If I go back to design modeler, okay, and uh, what I need to do is select concept cross-section rectangular. So we specify the moment of inertia by actually giving the cross-section. In our case, it's uh, it's a square. And so we can specify the, the breadth B. Um, so that's going to be, in our case, 0.346. And the height is also 0.346. And to see this a little bit better, um, I can zoom out using the middle mouse wheel. And I can right click and say move dimensions and move these dimensions. Okay, let me move it over here. I'll zoom out there and move it over here. And then if I zoom in, I can see this a little bit better. And if I scroll down, it shows me various properties of the cross section. And the one that really appears, you know, that uh, is going to affect our results is, is this moment of inertia. So we want this moment of inertia is about this axis, okay? And in this particular view, this is x. And don't get this confused with x along the midline. Um, it's bad notation, uh, but we'll have to live with it, okay? Um, so this moment of inertia, this moment of inertia here is the moment of inertia about this axis, and that you know that's a value that gets that'll get fed in over here. Um, and this is, you know, you can verify that that's equal to B H cubed by 12. And, um, and then after we create the cross section, by the way, yours will be called, you know, it'll probably be called rect, rect, rect one. Uh, I tried this once already, so it's, uh, it's calling this rect two. And then I need to go to the line body and assign that cross section, okay? Um, and it's only after I assign it really it'll use the, the value that I just that I showed you over here so don't forget to assign the cross section now if I come back to the geometry okay and I can say view cross section solids and let me turn off I can turn off the sketch here okay this is the dimensions and is on the sketch and so on so I'll turn off the sketch and so it's showing the line body and it's showing me the cross section that I drew wrapped around the line body. So if I uh, highlight the line body, it'll show me the midline. And then it also shows me because I turned on view cross section solids, it's turned on the cross section. And this confuses students because they think we have a 3D model, but no, we don't. We just have this midline and we drew the cross section to give I and answers is just, you know, pure visualization it's giving me this, uh, this this 3D view. So don't get confused about that. So I can go in and I can go to view and turn off cross-section solids to remind myself that that's what is, um, that I'm sending forth 
to the solver along with the, the moment of inertia. And I'll save the project. And you can also dismiss uh, Design Modeler.